So you have Pete and Renala, and now you can respect, but you need a larval tier for that. What if I told you that I can get you six of them in just six minutes? The only thing you need to do before we start is to kill Radan, because that will trigger a cutscene where the meteor is gonna crash in Limgrave, which will open the way to Nokron. After that, just follow my lead. We're gonna begin the six minute run in uh, Limgrave, and we're gonna go to a gill lake south, right down here next to this lake. So enter the grease, and I'm gonna put the timer up there on the right side corner, and you will see that this takes uh, exactly six minutes. So the first larval tier, it's up here. Uh, just go all the way to the top where you will see an enemy with a torch. He, in reality, this guy is gonna transform into a rune bear, and don't worry, I know they are the hardest enemies in the game, but you know, we are on lame grave, he doesn't have that much health. So as you can see, he dies in two heads, and um, we're gonna go. And we got our first larval tier, as you can see. After this, you're gonna teleport, and you're gonna go to Fort Eight West, which is the closest place, at least that I know of, from uh, you know the hole on the ground that the meteor, uh, you know, from Radam fight <coughs> crash, and th basically this will take you to them, to Nokran which is the, um, the next place we want want to go. And basically it's where we're gonna get all the remaining five larval tiers we need. Uh, if this happens to you, like you just saw, if you fall and you get damage on the horse, it is better for you to, you know, to heal, because you're gonna get some more damage just in a few seconds, and that might cause you to, for your horse to kind of die, <laughs> something like that. So heal if you can, but you, you don't have to take damage there. Uh, so I just did it because, yeah, it happened. It wasn't supposed to, but it doesn't matter. So keep moving forward, fall down here, it's not a problem. Now go a little bit to the left, fall down here again. And just keep going. Uh, and as you can see, we now arrive to Nokron, Eternal City. This part here is a little bit tricky. Um, it's very easy to fall and you also have some enemies that can throw a few things on you and make you fall but if you just run past everything and you know where you need to go you're probably not gonna have a problem but you know this is not a speed run for, for you so you can take just this slowly and kill the enemies if you want but I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible kind of <laughs> so here you just jump on the left on this um, window and you're gonna go all the way to the left here because you wanna fall on this platform so that you don't get any fall damage. So the next thing we're gonna find is a grace. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. Of course, I recommend it, but this part is pretty easy, so it's, it's, it's not a big deal. So after you enter Nokron Eternal City, you're gonna have this building here on the right side. It's uh, pretty easy to <laughs> to see it. And you're gonna enter the doors and you're gonna get your second larval tier, as you're just gonna see right now. So we have two at this moment. Now we're gonna go get our third, leave the building, go to your right and start going down the stairs. Um, right now I'm gonna just remove my weapons and you should too because we're gonna fight a boss pretty soon and there's a trick that if you enter the boss room without any weapons the boss will not have any weapons as well so he's gonna fight you with your fists but before that we're gonna go through here through this side and we're gonna catch our third larval tier boy this name is hard to say <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not English so to me it's kind of hard to say larval tier anyway this is the mimic tier boss it's probably the easiest boss in the entire game if you use the strategy of taking your weapons off and so just enter the boss room and just wait for him I, I don't know if this is necessary or not but to be honest but I'll just wait for him to appear and then I equip my weapon after that um, you basically can just spam the R1. He might hit you a few times, but as you can see, he has no weapon. So he's gonna just punch you a few times, which will do close to zero damage, and in a few hits, he will be dead. He will give you two larval tiers, as you can just see right now, which is great. At this moment, you already have five larval tiers, and now we're just gonna get our final one. 
just go into the horse uh, at this moment and now we're gonna have to you know basically use the horse for a few minutes maybe one minute to get to our next grace um, I also gain a somber smithing stone 5 there, I don't know how, <laughs> but cool. And uh, now it, you're gonna have to do a left here, and just keep going on the left side of the this, uh, you know, this area, because you will find uh, Grace pretty soon on your left side, and there's barely any enemies around here, so don't worry too much. Anyway, I recommend, of course, getting the grace, because this next part is a bit tricky with all the jumping and stuff. But anyway, just fall here and try to do this slowly. It's kind of dangerous. Like I said, it's very easy to fall here. Um, jump here to the right side. And uh, now you're going to go into this building. Jump, jump again. Now uh, these guys will chase you, so just keep on running. <laughs> And you're basically getting to the end of this run. You're basically just gonna go forward here and you're gonna find your enemy which will give you your final larval tier. This is a uh, you know an enemy that will can cause a lot of damage, but if you just do what I'm doing here to a jump R1 and then a charge R2, uh, you basically gonna kill him. That was actually a jump R2 on top. So as you just saw, I just caught the last level tier, and as you can see in the timer up there, it's Zach's 6 minutes. And with that said, this is goodbye from me, I hope this helped, and if you like this video, please give a like, a comment, or a subscribe, it would very much appreciate it. So bye bye guys, see you next time.